gosh, there she is. Oh, that was the one we were waiting for there. Guys, we're here down on the headwaters. Stay tuned for some spinnerbait action. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Got one on old, the brand new Berkeley Power Blade. Right there. So guys, we're, we're on a new lake. We're down here on headwaters. Uh, you know, after getting rained out, that's a big one right there. Oh my gosh, look at him chasing that shiner. Uh, we're, look at him, look at him, oh my gosh. But uh, we're here. Um, man, we're gonna put something together today. We're gonna be throwing the power blade some. Uh, probably do some flipping, maybe some top watering, and come hang out and see if we can't catch any. Oh, here we go, here we go. That's the one we thought they were gonna be in. Oh, getting a little better. Man, what's really cool about this power blade, uh, it, well, they got a gazillion different sizes and models, but the one I'm using here, uh, it's a half ounce, but it's a compact size. So, you know, it's got the power bait cooked into the skirt. And here, let me let this fish go real quick. And what's neat is it's like the size of a quarter, but it's a half ounce. So they got a lot of the weight down here uh, in the shaft of the hook. And then it has this actually uh, extra long um, shaft on the hook so that uh, you don't have to run trailer hook anymore with this thing. And uh, you hook a ton of fish on it. And uh, what's neat about that compact size and having a half ounce is that you can slow it down and it can get down deep and you can really, you know, kind of match that smaller bait fish. Or if you want, you, know, you can burn it as fast as you can and it will run straight and uh, you can get them near the surface. But uh, super neat, they did a really good job on a lot of these and uh, really good hooks in them. And I just got a flat nose minnow on the back as a trailer. And uh, you know, something that I've been doing with my spinner baits forever is putting Max Scent on the back since we've had Max Scent. The reason the Max Scent trailer is such key, uh, you know, on your slobber knockers, on your uh, power blades, spinner baits, whatever it is, is that the bait fish are attracted to the max scent. So you get bluegill, shad, whatever it is, will come behind it and start nipping at this thing. And it'll look like a whole school of fish coming through the water, you know, behind your spinner bait. So it's super cool. Uh, you definitely wanna, when you're throwing your spinner baits, you wanna have a max scent trailer on there. You know, the other thing that's cool about the power blades, besides, you know, every blade combination and, and color that you could possibly want, is the difference with that compact. You know, they have a smaller profile, uh, all different weights. The lead actually comes down the shank of the hook uh, and just gives you that, oh gosh, gives you that that compact uh, size. Oh, 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 oh. And it just gives you that compact size where, you know, you're able to match that smaller bait fish compared to you know the old traditional ones when you get in that dirtier water and you got you know bigger bait fish running from the bass and you throw the, the old traditional one where all the leads on the front you know you got the compact it's a little bit more uh, slender smaller profile <laughs> man it catches a ton of fish Oh, it's a little guy. Still fun though. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. Look how dark that fish was. So he was sitting right up under that mat there. I bet, I bet there's a better one in there. I'm usually a complete disaster in this boat. My stuff's everywhere, but my spinner baits are completely organized. You know, right on top, I got my trailers, uh, flat nose minnow, five inch and the four inch size for the smaller ones. And Berkeley now has you covered from one ounce all the way to a one eighth ounce pond, little tiny pond spinnerbait. All different blade combinations, all different colors. And uh, something that's cool about this box is when you get to these smaller ones, these smaller spinnerbaits, you're able to actually uh, double and triple stack them. And even on the bigger ones, you can double stack where you can actually slide them in 
and, uh, and just clip the wire in just like that. It holds them all in perfect place. And it's got the water wick, so you're not gonna have to worry about any blades rusting, hooks rusting, none, nothing's gonna rust. It's gonna stay, and with this waterproof seal and locking lid, uh, it's gonna keep all these spinnerbaits protected. And I don't even know how many. I mean, I think I have maybe 30 something in here, uh, but you can, you can double that easily and probably fit 60 or more spinnerbaits in this box. Uh, and it's just super cool setup. All right, guys, let's go get another one of these guys. Got him. Got him. Got him. I saw him come out and eat it. It was freaking awesome. It was so awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. He came flying out and got it. Oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. He choked that thing. Oh man, that was so awesome. You know, that's what I was talking about. You know, this being the compact half ounce, you know, it's that smaller profile. I'm able to burn it a lot quicker right under the surface. And then she just came out and inhaled it. That was so, that was so awesome. Oh my gosh. Hey, let me let this guy go and I'll let, I'll, I'll get, fill you guys in on, uh, you know, rod reel line and, and everything. Gosh, that was nice. When I'm picking a spinnerbait rod, uh, I, I like a seven foot medium heavy rod. You know, I want a rod that's got uh, a little bit of a softer tip. So, cause I, I really like uh, a lot of times throwing it out and kind of in, and slowly pulling it off the bottom. And uh, it seems like that softer tip just kind of springs it forward when you pop it free of the grass or whatever it is. And I like that seven foot uh, because a lot of times, you know, you're under can, underhand roll casting uh, to tight targets. Here we're a little bit more open water. It's not uh, so necessary. You could, you could use a, you know, a bigger rod if you wanted to, but you know, I like that seven foot for when you're up close, kind of throwing in these little lanes and pulling it through those holes. And uh, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll also vary my line depending on uh, what I'm fishing. You know, here I'm, I'm throwing 17 and 20. Uh, you know, because I'm around a lot of heavier cover. So uh, if I want that bait to get a little bit deeper, I'll sometimes drop down to 15 uh, and it'll help that bait get to the bottom a little quicker. And, I, and also a thing I do, because I, I, I fish way too fast most of the time. Like I have a, I struggle very hard uh, slowing down. And so I put it on a slower reel, a six, seven to one. I think it's like 23, 24 inches per turn. And that just allows you to get the bait down because uh, it seems like you get, I mean, you catch them burning on top, like, you know, and, and catch good ones, but a lot of times you want to get it down on the bottom. You want to pull it off the bottom and uh, that six, three to one, it really helps you uh, keep it down lower in the water column. There she is. Come on, baby, stay on. Got her. Oh, that was the one we were waiting for there. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, come here. Come here, come here. Oh my gosh, did you see that? That was incredible. And that's what I was talking about. That longer shank on that hook. Look, if that was a normal spinnerbait hook, would have never got that fish, would have missed them, especially without a trailer hook. And we got him there. Oh, that was so cool. Gosh, he came up and just choked that thing. Man, oh, let me catch my breath, hold on. All right, man, that was friggin' awesome. What a way to end the day. Man, I'm really liking this new Revo Gen 5 SX. I mean, this thing is first time I got to use it, but man, it handled the fish well, and man, the price point is, is great. It's a Fantasista X rod. I mean, this is, I've used this the last two years now. Uh, man, this rod, just the action, uh, you just feel everything and you're able to fight those big fish. You know, he didn't have a big hole ripped in his mouth or anything. And they're uh, just super great rods. And uh, make sure you like this video and um, share with your friends. And also go to the Berkeley Abu Garcia giveaway uh, for a chance to win a bunch of cool stuff. We'll see you guys next time.